Hello everybody, welcome back to The Drawing Show. My name is Boris, and today we're gonna draw something very special. We're usually drawing race cars, but we draw a lot of race cars. And so now we're gonna draw the places where the race cars race. We've drawn some tracks before. Today we're gonna draw one of my favorites, Bristol Motor Speedway, because we're gonna be racing there soon. Do you know that? We still have a race in Charlotte tonight. One more race there, but then after that we'll be headed to Bristol, Tennessee. And I'm so glad you're out there. I'm going to read some of these comments. Thank you for tuning in. We're also going to draw something that relates to the track. So Bristol is a circular, high-banked, concrete, short racetrack. And the grandstands extend up over the track and around the track. And so it looks like the Roman Colosseum. Have you ever seen that thing? The big Roman Colosseum with stands around it. And what did the Colosseum have? Lions? Swords? All sorts of things. So at Bristol, they call it the last great Coliseum. And I wish I had the trophy that Carl Edwards won at Bristol for us a few years ago. It was a really cool sword that had the track name on it. And so we're going to draw a sword and we're going to draw a lion. So we're going we're gonna to change it up a little bit. It's the place where race cars race. That's what we're drawing today. Thanks, everybody, for being out there. There's Devin and Daniel. There's R.C., there's, uh, there's all sorts of people. So Daniel's asking if I saw his drawing. I haven't seen it yet, Daniel. I'll have to look back through and check out your drawings, but I appreciate you sending it in. And uh, let's, let's get started. What do you say? First, we're going to draw the track shape. We're going to warm up, stretch it out, get it ready to go. Do you have your paper ready or whatever you're drawing on? I do, so I'm ready to roll. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the number 11 on its side or, you know, an equal sign, something like that. So draw your lines about like that. Now this is a short track, it's only half a mile in length, and I'll draw another track to kind of give you an example of what that looks like, but all you have to do is draw those lines and then connect them with some turns, and you basically have Bristol, like that. Now mine's not perfect, I could probably, uh, I could probably stand to find a ruler, measure it out, maybe that's the kind of drawer you are, you like to make things perfect and accurate and measure it out, and that's okay. I'm a little different. I like to just kind of eyeball it and do the best I can here. Give the general impression of what it's looking like. But that's basically what Bristol looks like. If you were up in an airplane and looked down, that's what you'd see. You wouldn't see any grass. There's just pavement on the inside of Bristol. In fact, the track is probably about that wide right there. And then the pit road goes all the way around the track as well. So there's an even inside little track for pit road so it's pretty wild racing at bristol it's like you're it was once called uh, something like jet fighters jet pilots racing in a cereal bowl something crazy like that so that's bristol from the air and if you're looking at the grandstands they would even look like an even bigger track they wrap all the way around the track like this so it looks like an arena or a coliseum Okay, so just get your ovals practiced there. It's just two lines connected by a bunch of other lines. And then there's grandstands up here where people sit and watch the race. I know we can't sit at the tracks. I can't even go to the track, kind of like you. But uh, one day we'll get back there. But that's, that's Bristol from the sky. Okay, so let me pull up an image here. There's Kay's watching. I'm glad you're watching Kay's. Thank you for the, watching for the first time. Let's see, James is out there, there's Michelle, uh, race shop still closed, Michelle, sorry, to visitors it is. Alright, I'm going to show you a couple pictures here while you're finishing up your Bristol shape drawing, then we'll get ready to draw a sword and a lion. You could even put some race cars on your track, I get some colors, like some crowns, and I'll choose like, for example, the interstate green, and I'll do a little rectangle down here of it racing, and maybe I'll choose blue, like my auto owner's hat and the auto owner's car, and I'll put that car down there. And you can put, see if you can fit 40 little cars in your, tr in your track, and you will understand very quickly why Bristol is so exciting. Because it's a lot of cars in a little bit of space, and they all have to make it work somehow. So if I just do little dashed lines like this, it kind of shows you how hard it is to fit race cars in the track. See that? See them all racing around there? Yeah, that's a cool thing to do. All right. Let me look up. Coliseum, so you can understand what I'm talking about here. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good picture. Let's pull that up there. There's a pretty good picture. And I'm going to compare it to Bristol. So maybe you'll be able to see why they call it the last Colosseum. All right. There we go. That's a good picture. All right. How's your drawing coming along? You finishing it up pretty well? I'm going to send these pictures to my iPad so you can see them. And you can see why we call it the last great Colosseum here. Here they come through the magic of computing. There's the real Colosseum in Rome. Now you see how you see how the stands where the people sit are all around it. Well, just like that, Bristol's the same kind of way. And so the Colosseum had lions and swords, and so sometimes you see some lion designs and some sword designs at Bristol because they like to do some really cool marketing and show you show you what the track's like. It's like those drivers are doing battle out there. So let's start a new page, and we are going to draw a sword first. Okay, you ready for this? Let me take my image here, and I'm just going to shrink the track, put it up in the corner, save it for later. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose kind of a bronze metal-y color like that. You can choose whatever color you like. But what we need to do is we need to draw just a long straight line, and this will be the sword. Like that. And then do another one on the other side, kind of like straightaways on the racetrack. And then bring it to a point. So you can bring it to a point like this. Got to do a triangle on the end. Makes it sharp. Then I do a light line in the middle to kind of show that it's curved. <coughs> that sneeze there. All right. Then you have to draw the, the part the person holds and the, I think they call this the hilt, don't they? The hilt. I forget my sword terminology. I'm going to have to call my friends at Bristol Motor Speedway and see what they say, but it goes right there, and then there's the part you hold with your hand that's not sharp, obviously, right down there. Look at that. Pretty perfect sword there. All right. Maybe tomorrow we'll draw Carl Edwards' car, because something interesting about that car that Carl Edwards won at Bristol with, I actually designed the paint design on it. The blue and the white, so I think tomorrow we'll We'll draw that historic Joe Gibbs racing car. Maybe we'll show Carl doing a backflip. What do you think? Tomorrow at noon, are you up for that? I think that'd be pretty cool. All right. Let's see here. Sword looks pretty good. All you have to do now is I'm going to go back to black, and I'm going to add some crossed lines down here like this. And then I'm going to cross them again. That's just kind of the leather strapping that's down there that makes it easier to hold. And you can even fill it in with some brown if you want to. Like that. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to fill it in with some brown. Kind of a leather, leather feel to it. There you go. So racing at Bristol is like battling with the chariots at the Coliseum. So that's why we're focusing on some Coliseum themed drawings here today. And you can decorate these with your race car drawings, you know? Maybe you drew the race car in Victory Lane like we've done before with the driver out. Maybe he's holding the sword. We had Denny Hamlin we drew holding the checkered flag, but all you have to do is replace that flag with the sword, and now he's won at Bristol, which Denny Hamlin has, by the way, last year, the night race. So you see how you can tell a different story, but the more things you know how to draw, yep, bring it all together. And if you missed any of those episodes, maybe this is the first time you've watched, you should check out our YouTube channel, and you can... Uh, you can go from there and and learn how to draw some other things we've drawn. So I'm going to pick a medium metal color here. And I'm going to do this half of the sword in that color. Okay. There we go. Kind of a medium metal color. It's more of a bronzish, goldish color sword. I think that's what they hand out for the trophy. All right, and then I'm going to go even darker on that color, and I'm going to color the hilt right here in that darker color. 
Pretty good. And then I'm going to pick an even lighter metal color and I'm going to color the top in that color. And actually, I think that's still a little too dark, so I'm going to go even lighter than that. There we go. Even lighter. And I can even add, leave some white in there to kind of make it, make it shine. I hope you're excited about racing at Bristol. I am. We got one more race tonight at Charlotte, and then we head to Bristol. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, just like that, you have your gladiator sword. Okay? Kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle sword, too, doesn't it? All right. So I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to move that over here, too. Whoop. Hold on. Got to select all of it, don't I? I'm going to move that over there. And now we're going to draw a lion. All right, we've got our racetrack, we've got our sword over there. Now it's time to draw a lion, okay? We're gonna draw kind of a cartoony lion though. It's not gonna be super realistic. You can make it look a little more realistic if you want to. But I'm gonna stick with that same brown color I chose for the, the leather down there. I'm gonna just stick with that because that's a pretty good lion color if you ask me. All right, so for the face of the lion, we're gonna start like this with the letter W lowercase w like that okay see that very nice next we're gonna do a little upside down triangle for the nose so upside down triangle like that can you see what we're drawing now we're drawing his face first and we're gonna draw a happy lion because the lion is getting to watch racing we're back to racing the lion is happy Happy to watch some racing at Bristol this weekend. So he's going to have a little smile on his face. There's the chin, and we're going to add a little bit of fur down there on the chin. See that? Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. I just got a new pet kitten, and he acts like a lion. Okay. All righty. Next, I think we need to draw the face and the eyes in there. What do you say? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the eyebrows first, and he's going to have a funny little look on his face. He's going to be raising one eyebrow and lowering the other, lowering the other eyebrow. So I'm going to do a low eyebrow like this, and then I'm going to do a high eyebrow like that. See that? Kind of made a little S shape. One goes up, the other is down. All right. Then I'll give him a little dot there for the eye, and another little dot for the eye over there. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now it's time to add that big mane in there. And I'm, you know, I need, I really need to hit up, hit up sport clubs pretty soon here because I'm starting to grow my own mane. I need a haircut. So this lion, though, we want to give him long hair. So we will, what will we do? We're going to give him some bangs up front here. See that? He's kind of a hipster lion. And I'm going to give him a little ear over here. Another little ear over there. See what we're doing there? How's yours looking? Is it coming together? I gotta read some comments while you're drawing that lion face. I'm gonna slow down because I, I really like reading your comments here, seeing what's going on out there. Oh yeah. A lot of people watching. I appreciate that. We're having fun today. You know, I figured uh, we're at home, we're staying safe still, and racing's only starting to get going. You know, we're still not going back to work yet here at my, uh, in the office, so. What better thing to do over our lunch break than to draw a lion? Well, draw race cars and a lion with the race cars. Who, who knows, you know? All right, let's see. Who's out there watching? Oh, yeah, got a lot of people watching. I appreciate all the retweets and the hearts. Thank you very much. There's John out there. Let's see, Debbie. Debbie wants to see that Carl Edwards drawing. All right, Debbie, we'll do that tomorrow, I promise. All right, thanks for all the watchers out there and the drawers. Even if you're not drawing, you can still watch. All right, time to draw on that mane. So you just kind of add some, it's kind of like shark fins. You see how they're kind of spiky? A little bit like a lightning bolt? Well, this is a fast lion because he likes racing, so he has a little lightning bolt mane going on. And it goes around his head like this. It doesn't have to be per perfect because it's hair, right? If, if I took my hat off, you would see 
the best example of imperfect hair going everywhere up here out there down here over my face all that stuff so it's hair it's lion hair he doesn't comb it very often you don't have to draw it perfectly but he's a big race fan in fact I think we're gonna put a we're gonna put a, a shirt on him of his favorite driver okay all right so on the back he's gonna be standing up so on the back I want you to draw a line like this and then curve it down like that and that'll be his tail see that we'll put a little little wisp of hair on the end there there's his tail all right got a good back there and a big strong back you start about where his forehead is and you go back all right next I'm gonna draw the front leg the front leg comes straight down and then the paw goes out like this I'll make it kind of look like a human foot there but on the other one I want you to to oop first let's finish this leg all right and then on the other one I want you to come down like this and I want you to draw a little three little bumps like that they probably have four so let's do four you see on this foot like that three little bumps four little bumps and then the leg going up like this okay and then you draw a line for each claw one two three four and I'm just gonna do one over here there we go all right now on the back his back legs are kinda like a turkey leg you know like a chicken leg so they have to have a big top like this and then they go down see that big back leg so you can really run fast and then I'm gonna add four little bumps again like that little claws looking pretty good alright so first you draw three legs don't draw all four yet because uh, what we need to do is we need to draw the body and then we'll hide his final leg behind his body okay alright see like this you just give him a little belly like that now you can draw that fourth leg back there doing something like this and I'm just gonna fill that leg in because it's it's in shadow his body's blocking the light so it's his back legs kind of in shade and shadow right there kind of shaded all right you know what though well, remember what I told you about shadows on race cars they make the race car feel like it's stuck to the track well you want the same thing for the for the lion he needs to be on the ground unless he's doing a jump if he's doing a jump you would draw the shadow disconnected from his feet like this see that now it looks like he just did a little hop just two black lines made it look like that lion was doing a jump but if we connect him to the lines it looks like he's standing on the ground so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect him to the shadows because I think I want my lion on the ground yeah that's what I think there we go now he's not just floating in outer space he actually has a shadow and if you're just joining us and you're wondering why we're drawing a lion on a race car show well we're racing at Bristol Motor Speedway this weekend after we race at Charlotte tonight and Bristol's known as the Coliseum and, and you know Coliseums are known for lions and swords so that's why we're doing it you understand but this is not just any lion folks this is a race fan lion okay so this lion is going to be wearing a t-shirt well maybe it's not shaped like a T because a T wouldn't fit on a lion but we're gonna draw a little sleeve on his on his arm here so cut that arm in half and then we're gonna cut the body in half like this with a shirt and now our lion is wearing a shirt now it all depends which driver this lion likes and this is where you can choose any driver you want to choose you know we I would hope you would choose you know maybe Denny Hamlin or Eric Jones or Kyle Busch or Martin Truex Jr. Um, but uh, but it's really up to you okay I'm trying to think of the perfect driver that this lion would be a fan of if any driver is gonna be a fan of, of or if any fan was gonna if any lion was gonna be a fan of a driver who would it be that's what you need to ask yourself hmm well you know the uh, the, the king in NASCAR is Richard Petty right and the lion is the king of the jungle so I'm gonna say that this this lion likes the old school drivers like Richard Petty so I'm gonna do a red and a blue shirt 
and some white in there. Those are Richard Petty's colors, okay? So that's, that's what color we're going to draw on this lion. King of the Jungle likes the King of NASCAR, so might as well give him a Petty blue shirt like this. That's the color that Richard Petty used. He used it, he made it so famous that they named the color after him. It's called Petty Blue now. Can you believe that? So I'm giving the King of the Jungle Richard Petty King of NASCAR shirt here. You can do whatever shirt you want. Of course that number 11 or 18 or 20 or 19, they'd all look good on this lion. He's getting ready to watch some racing this weekend from Bristol, so that's why he's wearing that shirt. All right. Nice. That's why he's got that funny look on his face, too. He's like, what are you looking at? I'm just a lion that likes racing. Now you can also add some of Richard Petty's colors in there like that. There you go. Maybe he has a Maybe he has a racing stripe that goes around the sleeve and comes back like that. All right? Very simple. And if you want to give it a number, Richard Petty's number was what? Do you know what it was? Yep, 43. So we're going to make this lion a Richard Petty fan from back in the day. King of the Jungle likes the King of NASCAR, right? All right, now for your lion color, I'm going to pick kind of a tan color. There's all sorts of colored lions, though. There's... there's uh, there are white lions, aren't there? White colored lions, black colored lions, tan colored lions. It's really up to you. Whatever color you like to use for this line, you can do it. There we go. So I am just going to color him in with this tan color. Look at that. And then I'm going to make his mane more of a reddish brown. All right. There we go. Very nice. Coloring that line in. Like I said, we're drawing a line because of Bristol and the fierce competition that's there at the last great Coliseum, as they call it. So there's that. I'm going to leave his, what do you call these, his whisker area or his snout there. Leave some white in there for him. All right, don't forget the ears, the same color there. And then we're going to make the mane a little darker and more red colored. There we go. That's a good looking mane, isn't it? By the way, if this is the first time you've watched us or you've missed some previous episodes, you can go to YouTube and look for Boris Draws. And you can find some of our Joe Gibbs Racing episodes there. Very nice, very nice. There you go. And just like that, we have a lion. And we did our sword from Bristol, and we did our racetrack shape for Bristol. So we're getting ready. We're, we're ready to race at Bristol. Got to get through Charlotte again first. Another good race coming up tonight. I hope you're going to watch it. But uh, then we'll be back at Bristol this weekend. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Boris, and I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, and I'm so glad you joined us. I'm going to read some comments here close out the show, and make sure you send me your drawings because we're having a lot of fun showing off your drawings at the end of the week. So thanks once again for watching. Let's see here. Daniel's down in Columbia. Raining down there. It's been raining here a lot as well, Daniel. Let's see here. A lot of, draw a lot of people drawing out there. A lot of good stuff going up. I can see it. Thanks for all the hearts and the retweets and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Danny knew the color for sure. He got it. What's up, Tammy? Jane's funny looking lion. Look at that. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some lunch and I hope you have a nice day and we'll be drawing tomorrow. Okay. See ya.